Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, how y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kate, baby, we are still riding for justice for you. Please send out the bat signal. We will send help immediately. But if you are William, baby, um, the UK press has put out an all points bulletin to go in on you. And baby, they are not playing at all. You guys, William is getting the floor wiped with them with the UK press. The Daily Mail has headlines for Richard K. not only dragging them, saying that William is responsible for the downfall of the monarchy, right? They are also saying, not so sweet, William. There was a time when the prince was prone to rant and rave, says leading le le royal author. And can you guess who the target of his anger was? You guys, they are literally saying the quiet part out loud. There have been rumors that Kate is in some is being abused in some manner. They are now putting in the same thing that William has an anger problem and can't be reeled in. At the very least, they are implying that William is a coward. There are a million articles that Kensington Palace is now letting be released about how Kate's a problem, Kate's loopy, Kate's this, Kate's that. You guys, let's get into the way they are wiping the floor with William. Again, in this article, maybe I'll make a little slideshow because it's actually pretty funny. They have all these pictures of William looking like an actual psycho. They said the party prince of yesterday's year was seen today was uh, has today been replaced by a loving father who rarely fails to cut a cut a dignified and often humorous figure in public. At 41, William is not only a key force in the monarchy but popular with the public too. The outlook has not always been so sunny, though, as Robert Lacey explains in his best-selling biography. Battle of the Brothers. Storms were all too frequent. You guys, if I, I'm going to put these pictures up because again, why are they making William look like American Psycho? Again, he thought that going, he thought that with Harry, he could just keep throwing Harry under the bus. He, they had no idea. And I know they are making so much money from actually turning on William. Because Charles is still king. And I noticed that Charles is being very, very uh, quiet. Perhaps that is, that's to be expected. King Charles himself has been no stranger to the occasional outbursts. If you guys don't know, King Charles Butler actually, I think, sued Charles and actually ended up settling with them. He said that Charles couldn't find a cufflink or something and then literally tried to strangle him. And it terrified him so much that he hid in a closet until Charles stopped going crazy. If you guys don't know, a king or a prince, I don't really, I know the king can't be arrested, but the prince, I don't think can be charged with a crime or in the fact that they can't conduct their investigation. They're not allowed to enter royal grounds. They're not allowed to think. That's why it took so long for America to even get their little hands on Andrew. And did you guys know that Andrew was literally rallying uh, lobbying the U.S. government for Jeffrey Epilator to get a smaller sentence or to get charges dropped. Oh, yeah, it gets deep. But Charles is known to have a horrible temper, too, which makes me think, all jokes aside, what did Camilla endure? I know that she got what she wanted, just like Kate got what she wanted. But I don't care how much I don't like a person. I'm never going to condone bullying or violence. I just, I won't. I won't. Unless it's the Alabama boat brawl and somebody is like swinging a folded chair around, but that's different. But I'm being serious. I will never condone a woman or a man being bullied or the violence. Anyway, they're saying William's stepmother, Camilla, um, was said to have been taken aback by the ferocity of his tantrums, saying he has proved uh, no sweet William when roused. In the years after her 2005 marriage to Prince Charles, Camilla recounted the members of her own family and close friends her surprise at discovering this unexpected side of Prince Charming. The boys got a temper. Camilla was horrified at the ranting and raving that William unleashed on occasion against Charles in her presence. They said the fights were shattering. By Camilla's account in the early days with William doing the shouting and Charles su submitting meekly on the receiving end, as she described, William held nothing back. It was a wrath, suggests Lacey, 
commensurate with William's sense of himself as future queen. So they're now saying that he has an ego and he's power hungry. This is on the front page of the Daily Mail. If you guys are new to my channel, check out the playlist. I'm telling you, this has been in the works for a good year. All the signs were there. Everybody called this crazy, but now on the front pages are saying exactly what we've been saying for a year. Okay, fine. I am saying I told you so, but just indulge me. But all jokes aside, right? William wants to be king, but they're now saying he's too lazy to do it. They say today it's largely hidden, but younger brother uh, Harry has his own views on William's anger. You remember in Harry's book, Spare, I also did a dramatic reading of Spare. If you like, if you have to clean the house or you just want to, I, it's funny. Go watch it, okay? Um, uh, um, he said, William grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace and knocked me to the floor. A dog boy was apparently broken in the fracas, right? And it literally cut, I believe, into Harry's back. Everybody liked to make fun of it. But if you would do that to your own flesh and blood, who is the king's son, what are you doing to your wife, who it seems like you never really wanted to marry? You don't respect the wife, ada, 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 this, that, and the third. Diana also said that all hell broke loose. He started shouting and crying when she tried to put her arms around him. She said Diana was getting a taste of how William's intensity could lead to his notorious rages. The following day, he apologized to his mother for his temper with a small bunch of flowers um uh listen they said that hold on so there's another article where they're actually exposing william too this is in richard k um omed scooby retweeted it doing a victory lap it said if the royal family is not quite at the 11th hour it's perilously close an impassioned warning from richard k that no one who cares about the monarchy can ignore and omed scooby said one might even say We've reached the end game because the thing is, Omet Scooby quote tweeted this because he said he was implying, which I will make the connection, that that's literally what his book end game was about. Where I have end game. I wanted to start the book club, but things are too hot with the Kate thing. But I will start the book club when we find out where Kate has to go. Or maybe I'll start the book. Let's see if you guys want me to start the book club because we can add, start having lives Why I read the book, okay? We can do like a chapter a day. It'll be good. Um. Anyway, but that's what got Omen Scooby dragged. Anyway, um, where are we at? Um, one second. Let me pull this up. So they're saying that um, William is basically horrible. He sucks. I'm looking for this one article. Just bear with me. That was really good. Um, let's go. So anyway, um, William's trading from, let me get back into this. Where is it? William's getting back into, I'll get back into this article about why they say it's the 11th hour. Hold on, let me find the part that's really. Okay, so here's a good portion. They, they're they talking about Charles now. As Prince of Wales, Charles did not agitate for the top job, as Diana called it. But when he finally got there, he bought a discipline to the position that has vanished since he laid low. It's hard to believe he would have permitted Andrew to lead the Windsors into St. George's Chapel in Windsor, knowing full well how those pictures would be received. William's own sudden absence from that service for his late godfather, at which he was due to give a reading, remains a mystery. For a prince who has two years indicated in reports that he attended the break with the Royal Convention of Never Complain, Never Explain, he's proved rem remarkably reticent. It's also unlikely that his father, let alone his grandmother, would have made such a clumsy intervention in the Gaza conflict as William did last month, earning a stinging rebuke. Let me just say this. William is trash, and I 100% believe that he's behind what Kate's done. But even a broken clock is right twice a day. I do respect him just that much that he actually came out and made a stand for something I think everybody should be making a stand for. But that's just on me. I know you guys don't agree with that. But just because you have bad intentions, but if you're asking for the right thing, I don't understand why he got dragged for that. And I hate the fact that I even have to come out and defend him. But yeah, anyway, right? 
Other courtiers also shudder at the memory of his hastily authorized denunciation of racism um, that saw his grandmother, Lady Susan Hussey, resigning as a lady in the household in 2022. It followed comments she allegedly made to the black charity boss at a palace reception. It's funny they couldn't even name that woman. They called her a black charity boss. Um, closer to home, the, God, the UK is so racist, even in their meeting, in their in their media. Um I do want to say this. Um, a lot of people think, and I've seen the theory on Twitter. Y'all know I stay listening to theories on Twitter that William, that Kate is faking her illness and she's doing this for sympathy because she's trying to get past the royal racist row. Let me just say three things. That can't be true. One, there's no way that Kate would ever want rumors of the Rose Hanabury thing to come out. Two, and yes, I'll talk about it in other videos, but I have heard the rumors that Rose is pregnant, ada, 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 this, that, and a third. Two, Kate was proud of being declared the royal racist. As much as we look at it as a shame, the royalist, and also Kate leaned into this, she showed up wearing all white for Christmas. And I don't believe that Kate went under to get plastic surgery because if you look at those pictures from the Royal Christmas, she had a freshly tuned face. She actually looked a lot like Brooke Shields and had a thicker eyebrow, which actually suited her a lot. That's the best I've seen Kate look in a real while. So she actually had surgery before then. But also, they even had the thing of the Daily Mail, um, an all-white Christmas. That actually endeared her, that she proudly was the one that chased Megan and Archie out the country. Okay. Um, they said closer to home, there have been questions about the Duchy of Cornwall, Cornwall, the vast property and land empire, which generates profits of 24 million last year because he became Prince of Wales halfway through the financial year. He is thought to have taken only a portion of the income. Even so, courtiers have asked what he spends the money on, or even if he has the faintest idea what to do with it. His, we all know he didn't give it to Kate's family. His father had his huge staff at St. James Palace, the gardens, and the farm at Highgrove, and for many years, his polo expenses. He was also paying William and Kate's running cost, and for a time, Harry and Meghan's. William has only his own family bills to meet. William has also made several missteps. This is the front page of the Daily Mail. This is unprecedented that they're dragging him. For example, not supporting in person the lionesses when they reached the final for the Women's World Cup in Sydney last August. Many felt that as president of the Football Association, he should have attended. Then there, were last, there was last week's confusion over the announcement made in air, it seems, about Kate's attendance at June's Trooping of the Color ceremony. It saw the Army hastily removing the claim from its website. Moreover, why is it left to Kate to take the rap for the farce over the money, Mother's Day photograph? The fall from the debacle has seen a frenzy of online speculation about the state of her marriage, underscored by the curious absence of Kate's wedding and engagement rings in the picture. Might it not might not a joint statement have helped to reinforce the couple's unity and security of the uh, institution? Cumulatively, these episodes speak of warring dysfunction. One matter above all represents the gravest threat to the monarchy, the feud between William and the brother that poisons the Windsors. Let me tell y'all something. Harry ain't never coming back, and he should never. When he offered to help, and I do believe he offered to help his sick father, I do believe that Charles is more sick than anybody thinks, William told him to go F himself, and now William has gone and f himself. William has pegged himself into a corner, so to speak. Um, yeah, listen, uh, uh, and mm, listen, let me get back into uh, the theory circling around Twitter. I'm going to jump to a different video. Heavy upload date. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.